Hello, everybody. Honey, good yes, to baby. have you here. How are you doing? All is good. Uh -huh. You're always answering our questions. Thank you. Yeah, and I love it. Uh -huh. um, now, in different places in the world, we have elections, and sometimes mm -hmm. our candidates don't win. Mm -hmm. It could be at parliamentary, it could be at national government, mm -hmm. but the candidate we so love doesn't win, mm -hmm. and the opponent, so-called, mm -hmm. gets to win. How should we handle our emotions mm -hmm. when especially we think they're not doing the right thing? Mm -hmm. How should we, what should we do? Okay, first and foremost, whenever you're dealing with a ballot system, mm -hmm. one person will win, the other one will lose. Whether they win in a justifiable manner or not, mm -hmm. somebody will be sworn in, another one won't. Mm -hmm. What you must do is accept that verdict. Accept it because any other thing you do after that is going to bring chaos in the country mm. and chaos in the environment. Accept it. And this is the reason why it's rotational. They'll uh -huh. rule for a number of years. In the U.S. it's four years. Yeah. In our country it's five years. Wait for those five years. Ladies and gentlemen, life is not fair. Wow. <laughs> life will not always give you what you want. Mm. Now that we have settled the fact that life isn't fair and that you will not always get what you want, mm. what do you do? Cry? Bomb the whole place up? No. Work on your own life. That's why the Bible says, work out your own salvation mm. with fear and trembling. Your own salvation. God works it in you, you work it out. Mm. So sort out your area of jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Don't go so far to the extent that you want to attack the presidency mm. or you want to attack the political leaders. You have a family. Uh, is everything in order in your family? Are you leading your family the way you want the president to lead the country? The nucleus is your responsibility. Mm. Don't try changing the world. Change yourself. Uh -huh. Make sure you are that democratic husband at home. Make sure you are that fair, or whatever you want to call it, wife at home. Make sure that your children have no questions about your leadership. Make sure that your economy is growing and it's robust before mm -hmm. you start wanting to remove the speck in the president's life or in the political system's life. Uh -huh. Okay? Yeah. Now, world over, those who have been bereft of political office as a result of losing or as a result of a skewed system mm. have never ever changed their nations mm. you see yeah so go back to the drawing board get your political people or your political system sorted out mm. learn how the whole thing works wait for the next election wow. in the meantime please concentrate on your family your wife your husband your children your business, there is something God gave you to do, do it well, okay? Listen, the Bible says all authority is God ordained. Whether that authority comes through the ballot or uh -huh. through any other method, as long as somebody has been sworn into office, they are God ordained. Wow. You see, yeah. that's why the Bible says yeah. that you servant, be obedient to your leaders, even the forward ones, wow. even the horrible ones, wow. because that's God's will, mm. because he desires that we live in peace yeah. with godliness and honesty. So if followers of a political system or citizens of a country accept the verdict mm. that has been given, whether they agree with it or not, mm. they'll be doing much justice to their nation. Mm. If they don't like it, wait for another opportunity. In the meantime, fix your family. Yes. Now, honey, that's very important. Uh -huh. What do you do with those rogue emotions? <laughs> you know, the, the, <laughs> the, within anger. You, the anger, the, yeah. the resentment, you know, yes. they're within you and you have them all the time. You see, everybody's looking for a sense of justice and that's mm -hmm. a good thing. You will not get a sense of justice from human beings. No, there is only one who is just. His name is God, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. If you go to him, he will impart upon you his righteousness, which makes you justified, which is the hallmark, the highest level of justice. Mm. He's the only one that gives you your rights. Justice when you, you are given your rights. Mm. Only God can do that. No political system can do it. Okay? Yeah. The best democracy we know in the world right now is what? The US. Yeah? Yeah. They still can't give everybody justice. That's true. So don't look for justice from people. Look for it from God. Once you've sorted out your matter with God, mm -hmm. it will be easy for you to forgive uh -huh. these offenders. Yes. These people who, according to you, stole your votes mm -hmm. or according to you, 
were promoted unfairly, yeah. it, where you ought to have been promoted at mm. work. Mm. This one came the other day, and now look, they're already deputy, and I'm still here at front desk. What's going on? Mm -hmm. Sort your matter out with God. Get your justice from God. He is just, wow. and he hates injustice. Yeah. He'll fight for you. Yeah. He'll give you that thing that you're longing for. Yeah. He's able. Wow. Yeah? Thank you so much. <laughs> We're so blessed by your answer. Thank you, baby. Till next time, we love you. Bye. Bye-bye.